I'm moving to the next topic uh, into this I am user roles is the I am groups. So what do you mean by I am group? So as the name suggests, there is a grouping and the grouping here we are talking about is the I am user. So let's try to understand what the I am groups and what's the significance of it. So here you can see this is our root user and that root user can create some groups. So in that group, we can assign some users. So as you have seen, like previously in the previous chapter, we have created a test user and that user doesn't belong to any group. So if you are working in a very large organization, then it is it makes sense to create a logical groups of user. So let's say, for example, a finance department, then we are just going to create a finance group and then we are just going to create all those users which belongs to finance department into that finance group. Similarly, uh, if there is any accounting section, then we are just going to create an accounting group and then we are just going to assign all those IAM user inside that accounting section. So that's the significance of uh, our IAM groups over here. And what are the benefits we get? So like uh, you create IAM policies or permissions, then those permission you don't need to individually apply to those user. So here you can see if I create a permission, I am permission for this demo group, then that permission will default be applied to all the users present inside this demo group. So that's the benefits you will get once you'll start using the IAM groups. Okay, so for this particular demo, what we are going to do, we are just going to create one group and inside that group, we are just going to assign some users and those users, we will assign some policies and those policies, we are just going to verify it. Okay, so these are the things which we are just going to perform inside our IAM group section, group chapter. And the policy we will be testing is simple uh, S3 permission policy. All right. So for that, what we are going to do, we're just going to head back to our AWS console. And this is my root user account. And in the previous chapter, we have seen we have created these uh, test user demo. OK, so as of now, I'm just going to remove this particular policy. Uh, I'm just going to uh, keep that user plain and simple. So I'm just going to removing that policy. And here you can see the policy has been removed and uh, let's take a look onto the users so here you can see that one user which we have already created which is test user demo i'm just going to create a one more user and i'm just going to put test user demo two. okay click next over here and uh, attach policy directly i will just attach i'm just gonna select this option but i'm just not gonna attach anything to that particular user all right click next over here and here you can see uh, this is the user but the permission section is completely empty over here click on create user over here okay so here you can see we have created two user which is test user demo and test demo user demo 2 these are the two user which we have just created now we will create a test group and inside that group we are just going to assign those two users all right so again go to the left side and user group section click on create group and here i'm just gonna create a new group so i'm just gonna put the name so which is test group demo and once you create a group then it will ask like what kind of a user you want to include so here you will see the users which we have created so i'm just going to include this and this user inside that particular group okay and after that any permission no i'm just gonna i'm not gonna assign the permission right now i'm just gonna show you later that part okay so just keep the thing simple over here so if you take a look so here we have a, a root user that root user is creating a group uh, although i have created a different name of the group but just imagine the group name is test user and here there are a couple of user which i have just assigned inside that particular group okay so now uh, the two users has been assigned don't assign any permission click on create group over here and here you can see the group has been created and the permission has not been defined but there are two users inside that particular group which you can see from here okay go to the group section and here you can see these are the two users inside that particular group okay and uh, as you can see i have already opened one of the user over here so here you can see this is our test user demo which is one of the user which i have already logged in so just refresh it and uh, try to access the s3 let's see if it is allows or not because i have not assigned any permission so ideally it should not allow anything okay 
so here uh, let's click on create bucket not create bucket i'm just gonna go ahead and uh, and here you can see if i click on the buckets then you can see there is it's not able to list any of the bucket okay why it is so because if you take a look onto our this uh, aws console from root account that this particular group this test user demo group doesn't have any permission so here you can see this whole permission section is completely empty okay so now what we will do we'll just gonna assign the permission to the group not to the user but we're just gonna assign it to a group so here you can see i'm just assigning the permission to the group click on add uh, click on attach policy and here you can see i'll just attach s3 policy uh, the policy which i have created in previous chapter which is this one custom s3 allow so attach this one uh, just take a look how to create the im policy in the previous chapter because i have shown like how to create this custom policy uh, for your user okay just in case if you if you have not seen the previous chapter okay so just this custom s3 policy allows to access you the s3 buckets that's the simple policy which i have created okay so just attach this policy to this particular group which is uh, this user group and this user group it has two users which is test user demo and test user demo 2 okay now let's go back to the browser uh, or the console of our test user demo here you can see this is a test user demo and now try to refresh this page over here and here you can see i'm able to access the s3 buckets so here you can see uh, what the simple thing which we have done over here is i'm just going to go back to the browser once again so we have just uh, assigned the permission to this particular group not to the user so if you take a look onto this test user demo and go to permission section or oh, although if we have that permission i'm just going to remove this no this has been assigned via here you can see attached via so this permission has been attached via group not by the user all right so that's the uh, benefit you will get actually so once you create a group then you are just assigning the permission to that particular group not to the user so all the user will inherit those permissions if they are the part of that particular group so that's the significance of our iam group within your aws cloud